So on this wet and dreary day in the UK, we're going to have a quick look at what Rolex have just dropped for Watches and Wonders 2024. I'm Andy and welcome to the English Watch. This channel is about me and my watch collecting journey, an amateur enthusiast with an eye for detail, helping like-minded individuals like you start your watch collecting journey now if you like this video why not give it a thumbs up and while you're down there why not subscribe anyway before we get into the rolex drop for 2024 i am today wearing my grand seiko quartz gmt it's a nice piece good value even next to some of those tudors which i'm sure we'll get around to obviously i did the um prediction video the other day and hey you yeah, know did we get any right i don't know yeah, one, the GMT. Hey. Uh, the rest, I think it's pretty much uh, a, a, a a pretty low-key event from Rolex. Um, they didn't need to push much out. They've got a really good range at the moment. Uh, not many, if any, watches were dropped off. So, you know, we still have all of the current collection. I think some of the dial um, colours have gone. So on the date just, for example, the motif dial for the blue and the green have disappeared. And I'm sure the eagle eye amongst you will also know of other things. But unfortunately, I'm not uh, that much of a geek that I know every dial and every combination of every model in the Rolex catalog. So I will let you tell me, and please do so in the comments, just to help a friend out. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a look at what has been released, and then we're gonna have a dive into each of the subcategories and have a quick look at see if there's anything missing, if anything sort of jumps out at us, and have a little roundup at the end. So let's not take too long about this. So looking down through the new releases, the first one that comes up is the GMT Master 2, Echoing Emotions. Now this is the anticipated um, steel version of the grey and black version that came out on Roller Sword and Solid Gold last year. Now this kind of replaces what was the solid black bezel that was discontinued a number of years ago. And I think with the green Rolex sand, it will remain a quite a popular model. Now I actually think this one looks pretty smart on the Oyster bracelet. As we know that the Pepsi we think looks best on the Jubilee. The Batman, which is one I'm still waiting for, watch the Switzerland, come on, on the Oyster. Right, skipping down, we've got this uh, day date in rose gold with a sort of chocolatey dial now this is the one that allegedly was on the wrist of some celebs over at the oscars uh, obviously we saw this one as part of the tease i'm not a big i'm not <laughs> it's not my i'm not their target audience for that one uh, then into the 1908 which um i called it the snakeskin dial but of course it's a gear shade dial i mean i'm sure the dial has a lot of workmanship put into it but that sort of baby blue dial is not for me. I would have preferred a complication rather than just a well-executed, if poorly colour-chosen dial. Yeah, maybe salmon instead of, I don't know, what's that blue? Ice blue, salmon. There you go, Rolex. That's where it's at. And then we get on to which I, you know, I think I said this one was going to be a solid gold um, Submariner. A deep sea. Whoever thought we needed a solid gold deep sea? I mean, it makes sense because we saw the case back. Wow, this is uh, one to bring out and show your mates. And it's a bit like um, the Avengers where they all try to pick Thor's hammer up off the table. I'm sure there's some worthy people that will be able to pick this one up. Um, but blimey, didn't see that coming. And then <laughs> the Oyster Flex on this quite jazzy um, Daytona. I say jazzy because it's got loads of diamonds on it. Uh, not my cup of tea. Now, having an Oyster Flex on a Daytona sounds like a, an interesting thing. I'd like to see Oyster Flexes on more models, eh? like the Submariner, even. Uh, but these diamond-encrusted um, Daytonas, they're not for me. A, I can't afford them. B, if I could, I still wouldn't buy them anyway. They're a bit gaudy. And then finally, on to the solid gold. Uh, sky dwellers so here this one in rose gold uh, on a jubilee but that's we'll go and see in a second there's some more so that's it that's your rundown of the new stuff now what i'm going to do is quickly whip into into the subsections now if we flick through the date just and what i'm going to do is flick to the 41 because that helps us a lot 
and we go down. In fact, if I go filter and remove um, anything that isn't steel or fluted, so just got steel and fluted on a Jubilee, so regular stuff, and that should help us. So here we go, we've got all of the dial colors still there. The ones that are missing are the motif dials, so the green and the blue, missing in action. So if you've got one of those, well done. So looking at the Submariner then, we've just got the basic Submariner in black. So no change there, no anniversary dial or gold or anything else. And all the other models are present and correct. I do like the Bumblebee one, that's uh, one day, we'll see. Yeah, we all have our little guilty pleasures. Well, mine is the, the black and gold Submariner. Right, so moving on to the GMT Master 2 collection. And we're going to look at all the models. And here we have the new GRNR in Oyster and in Jubilee. So it's good to see they're offering uh, the watches with both um, bracelets, which is great. Hey, look, there's the Batman new model there we go and everything else appears to be present and correct including the root beer still with us and surprise surprise the pepsi still with us so all those naysayers uh, who said we're going to lose it we haven't but doesn't mean you're going to get one doesn't still mean they don't have production issues or whatever the problem is it's still there but you know if it's still in the catalogue you can still re request it yeah and why wouldn't you it's a great watch Right, GMT Master 2 goes on to day date. So this is a, a day date, uh, which is a model I have no connection to, relevance to, etc, etc. But look, there's some gold ones, 36 and 40. I'm sure they're lovely. I do like the... Uh, it's a classic, isn't it, the day date? I mean, come on. But yeah, there's some new ones in there that are gold. Um, do they look any different from the other ones? Different dials. Moving on to something more interesting the Cosmograph Daytona so the Daytona got completely refreshed uh, last year it had the uh, 100 anniversary um, Le Mans uh, edition which is fantastic and this year we have a load of diamonds a load of diamonds diamonds are forever uh, on everything on all the other models um, so whatever model you thought there was, there's the same one but with a load of diamonds on it. So that's what it looks like to me. Are there any missing? No idea. No flipping idea. There's a load of them, isn't there? People complain about, oh, there's too many Speedmaster variants. You know, Omega, what are you doing? And then you look at what the Rolex do with the Daytona. I mean, crikey, they must make, I don't know, 80% of them must be the steel, white dial, black dial. And Christ knows how many of the other versions they make. I mean, you can't get hold of the, the regular ones. So anyway, again, it's another watch. I I do kind of like the new one. I think it's, it's nice. I'd go for the black dial, though. Black dial, steel, and all that. None of the fancy nonsense. You can keep all that. Right, so what is next from the Daytona? We move on to the Oyster Perpetual. Now, we lost a few dials over the last few years but we also picked up some new ones last year in the celebration dial so celebration dial is still there i've just clicked on 41 um, so we've still got silver a black a green and a blue uh, still get pink in the smaller models and the tiffany still there so no changes that i can see but again please let me know so we're now on to the Yacht Master. So last year we had the Titanium Yacht Master, which uh, I've never seen. I don't think many people have seen. And everything else appears to be the same. Although the entire Yacht Master 2, you know, the Yacht Timing uh, watch, that massive thing, has now disappeared out of the catalogue altogether. Now I've got a, another guilty secret. So guilty secret number one is the black and gold uh, Submariner. Number two is the Yachtmaster 40 in rose gold. Now you know. You're doing well if you're keeping up. So we're getting to the big one. We are getting to the big one. So Sea Dweller. So I don't think there's anything different in Sea Dweller land. Um, we've still got a half and half roller saw and a steel one. I've got a Planet Ocean. Yeah, I can I can rock this size of watch. I don't think I've ever tried one of these on. 
I do like the red text on the sea dweller, and I think some were hoping that would come in on the Submariner, but it didn't. Uh, it's the anniversary text, isn't it? And I do kind of like, I mean, I guess I like the Submariner black and gold. Maybe the Sea Dweller is like the grown-up version of that. Maybe that's a bit too much black and gold for young AK to uh, to pull off. Right, and then, here we go, the Deep Sea. The Deep Sea. So, this is like the where the, where the science happens. You've got all the... Um, the novelties that are defying science, depths of the ocean, all that good stuff. So last year we had the deep sea challenge that defies the ability to even wear a watch. It's that huge at 50 millimetres. So if you're in the market for um, a solid gold Rolex deep sea, fair play to you. That's totally bizarre. That's just like, if that tells me that uh, Rolex didn't really want to change, make too many changes, which is what you understand. But here's a real punch in the face with a watch um, that is so non-mainstream, it's ridiculous. Hey, Right, the Air King is a one of its own, so it's just the Air King, no change, and no Milgauss either, which we're not surprised, because it's not a Milgauss anniversary. The Explorer, did we get a Polar Explorer? Did we, Eckers like? So no Polar Explorer, everything present and correct. Moving on to the... Lady Datejust. Should we skip the Lady Datejust? Yeah. No offence. The Sky Dweller. Well, we know there's some Sky Dweller action going on. Uh, let's look at all models again and what we'll find our new model. So we've got some solid gold, uh, rose gold, and yellow gold Sky Dwellers with different dial colours. Now, last year they had this sort of turquoisey colour one. So I guess they've added to that now with these chocolatey ones. Now, I love a chocolate dial, but all that gold, I mean, who's buying these watches? It's clearly not me down in suburbia, that's for sure. Right, so what's next? I think we've got to be nearly there, haven't we? Yay, the 1908. So what we've got, 1908 came out last year, replaced the Cellini line, which there were some complications in it. You know, they had the moon phase, which is quite nice. The Cellini is a little bit boring, so what they've done is they've added this uh, guilloche dial. They've added it in platinum, so it was gold, now it's platinum. And typically Rolex will use the ice blue dial for platinum models, which is fine. I just don't think it's very attractive. That's just me, again. not my. I'm not their target market. I'm sure it's a lovely watch. I'm sure the heft of platinum is quite nice, but, um, no, nah, not for me. Anyway, that's my take. But what is it? What is the one watch that I will take away and say, do you know what? I really like that. Well, that is a good question. And I'm going to have to say, boringly, it's the GMT Master 2 in steel, but on the Oyster. I think it's just a great, everyday, solid watch. No frills, no diamonds, no gold, no nothing. Just a, almost a re-edition of what they already had. Um, just with a bit of grey on it. I think that's all you need. Uh, and I sort of commend Rolex to a degree for not trying to just keep pushing more and more stuff because they know we can't have it anyway. It's not like you can just walk down and buy any of these things. So what's the point in spending the time and effort creating new, new items when there's still a massive backlog for the ones that you already make? Hey-ho. Anyway welcome your comments so leave some comments down below and uh, while you're down there hit the like button if you made it this far and also why not subscribe so i'm andy this has been the english watch take care and i'll see you soon bye for now